if you are able to get ahead, if you're able to put any money aside, it's still piece by piece, little by little. Now imagine if you could go to the next level of education because you can have an equivalency, a GED, you can have whatever it is. You could be 18 and breathing and go to junior college in California, as long as they've got room for you. So junior college should be free. Everyone should be able to go to a trade school or a junior college and get a certificate or get their first two years of college, it should be free. So we should be talking about K through 14 education. That should be free public school. Then we can have people move on to the next level. I believe that the next level of education should be free as well while you're going. A few years back when I was still working at Boys Republic, I was driving up to Chino Hills and the president of the student body of the UC system had this really incredible plan and it made perfect sense to me and I've got to talk to like economists but I know that Obama picked up on it after he heard this as well. The idea was you go to college for free. If you want to go straight to a four-year, you want to go to a two-year, you want to go to a two-year and transfer, whatever it is, you go for free, right? The system picks up the tab for you, state, whatever. Then you graduate and you get into the career that you want. Not the career you have to have so you can pay the bills, yeah. but the career you want. So if you want to work for a nonprofit for only $25,000 a year, you should be able to work for that nonprofit for $25,000 a year because your job should fulfill you emotionally and not, not, not just financially. You want to be a doctor? Go be a doctor. But if you want to be a doctor and work at a local clinic, do that too. Because the doctor that opens a private practice, if the practice survives, is gonna make a hell of a lot more money than a doctor working at a clinic. But you should be able to work where you want that fulfills whatever passion it is that drove you to the career in the first place. And here's the deal. For 20 years after you graduate, 5% of your income goes back to the university where you graduated. So only 5% of your $25,000 a year or 5% of your $40,000 a year or 5% of your $75,000 a year, or 5% of your $250,000 a year. And then everybody goes to college for free. The That's colleges awesome. and universities will actually make more money. The overhead is gonna be outrageous when you first establish the plan, because you gotta get people through the first four years. And so states are gonna have to pay a lot of money to make that happen. But the payoff afterwards? Better educated populace. Absolutely. We're not gonna hear any of that conversation coming from conservatives. Certainly not the fear-mongering conservatives. Fiscal conservatives, we can have that conversation. Oh, wait a minute. If I have a better educated workforce, I have more economic development, more growth, more people that are making enough money not just to have their house and food on the table, but take vacations, which means they come to my city, so pe more people can go, we and can visit. And also put their money back into the economy. Put their money back into the economy so you don't have to wait six months to be able to save to afford the new washer and dryer when it goes on the fritz. You, you have that money to do that.